Today we are going to be writing equations, so like y equals mx plus b, okay, and you're going to be given a slope and one point. Okay, so then you're going to be expected to write the equation y equals mx plus b, just given a slope and just given one point. Okay, and we know that when we write an equation in y equals mx plus b, we need that slope plus we need the y-intercept. Okay, so that's kind of going to be the goal is to find, we already are given our slope, but we have to find that y-intercept to be successful. Okay, you should have already picked up your note sheet. Okay, and on your note sheet, um, you have four steps and then you have like a final step okay, at the top. And I want you to take a minute. Okay, you're going to pause the video and you're going to write down these five steps. Okay, so the first step was writing down just y equals mx plus b on your paper. Okay, that's your first step, what you should do when you're given a point and when you're given a slope. Okay, then for step two, you're going to plug whatever slope they give you in for m in the equation. Okay, we're going to go through a couple examples like this, so it will make more sense here in a minute. Okay, and then whatever coordinate point they give you, so like let's say 1, 2, you're going to plug in the x in for x, and you're going to plug the y in for y in the equation. So that only leaves b. Okay, that's it. It's the only letter left in the equation. Okay, and if you notice that step four says you're going to solve for b. So it should be a two-step equation, how we solve for x, but in this case we're solving for b. And then once you get b equals five, or whatever it ends up being, then you just put m and b, your slope and your y-intercept, in for m and b, and that is your equation. y equals your slope, let's say 2x plus your y-intercept. Okay, so we're looking for a final answer that looks like that. Okay, I know it seems a little confusing right now, okay, but let's go through a couple examples. Okay, and I'm expecting you to be writing these down in your notes. So the next part you have example number one. Okay, let's write the point they give us is negative 2, 4, and write down the slope is 5. I have just my steps written here, just so we can easily look back on them, and you have them on the top part of your notes. Okay, so step number one, okay, we're just going to use the equation y equals mx plus b. That's step one. Okay, just writing it down. At any point in this video, if you need to pause to catch up, please do so. Okay, number two. Our step two says put the slope in for m. Okay, so I'm going to put my slope, which they told us was 5. I'm going to plug that in for my m. Okay, and we know that slope is m in our y equals mx plus b. That's nothing new for us. All right, step three. It says put the coordinate in for x and for y. So I know my coordinate, negative 2, is my x value, because that always comes first. And then my y value is 4. So I'm going to plug in 4 for my y. And I'm going to keep my slope there. And my x was negative 2, so I'm going to plug that in for x. Okay, I use parentheses just to make sure that I know it's multiplication happening between the 5 and the negative 2, and that I'm not subtracting that part. Okay, so I use parentheses there. Okay, and then step 4 says to solve for the equation. Okay, so I'm just going to rewrite my step 3 here, okay, just because I don't have a lot of space. Okay, so I'm just going to rewrite it, same as I did in step 3, and I'm going to solve. Okay, just like we did our two-step equations. Okay, if you notice here, okay, I know what 5 times negative 2 is. Okay, so I can just rewrite that as negative 10. Because okay, 5 times negative 2, we get a negative 10. 
And if I want to get B all by itself, I need to move my negative 10. So I'm going to add 10 to both sides. Cancels that. So I get 14 equals B. Okay, and that's my y-intercept. Okay, that's our goal. That's what we were trying to find. Okay, so B is my y-intercept. Okay, and then step five, step five says plug M and B back into the equation. Well, we know M, that was given to us, and now we know our B, which is 14. So I take Y equals my slope, which was five, X plus my Y-intercept. Okay, so that's our final answer. Okay, that's it. I know, kind of a lot, right? That's how we find y-intercept when we're only given a slope and we're only given one point. Let's go through another example. Okay, this time I'm given a slope of negative 3 and a point of negative 1, 7. Okay, my step number 1, that's just writing y equals mx plus b. Okay, this is now on the back side of your note sheet. Okay, example number two. Make sure that you wrote down the slope and the point in the spots given. Step number two, it says put the slope in for m. Okay, so the slope goes in place of m. And then step three, we're going to put the coordinate point in for x and for y. Okay, so step three, I know my y is seven. Okay, and my x in this case is negative one. And I just plus b, because I'm trying to find b, so I can't plug anything in for it yet. And then step four is solving. Step four is solving for B. We want to get B all by itself. Okay, well, I know that negative 3 times negative 1 gives me a positive 3. Okay, so I can just rewrite that. A negative times a negative, we get a positive. So I subtract 3, subtract 3 from both sides. So I'm left with B equals positive 4. Okay, so that was my step four. My step five, okay, this is kind of the hard part, is just plugging M and B back into the equation. Okay, when we write equations, we want to see that Y and that X, okay? We don't plug things in for it for our final answer, like we did in step three. Okay, so I keep my Y, I just plug my M or my slope in, and my Y intercept. So this is my final answer. Y equals negative 3x plus 4. Okay, at this point, if you're still confused, make sure you're raising your hand and asking for help. Okay, we're going to go through one more together. At any point, if you're a little behind, make sure you're pausing the video. All right, so this is our last example. This is the last one on your note sheet, example number three. Okay, make sure you write the slope, negative four, and make sure you write the point down, three, negative five. Step one is an easy one. We just rewrite y equals mx plus b. Okay, step two, okay, we did our step one. Step two, put the slope in for m. So I have y equals negative 4x plus b. Step 3, put the coordinate point in for x and y. Okay, my x is always first, my y is second. My y was negative 5, okay, my x is 3. Now at any point, if you need to skip and you can just go right to step 3, that's okay. Okay, I just have these steps for some of us who need a step-by-step -step process. Okay, but if you can jump right ahead to step three when you're doing homework problems or 
classwork problems, you can do that. You don't always have to go one, two, and then three, okay? But I want to see step three. That's the most important step. Step four, that says to solve for B, okay? So that's just a two-step equation, okay? In most cases, it's one step. I have negative five equals, I can rewrite this, negative four times three. I can rewrite that as negative 12 plus B. Okay, and then to move the 12 over, I'm going to add 12 to both sides. So B ends up being negative 5 plus 12. So I get a positive 7 for my Y intercept. Step number 5 is just plugging M and B. Okay, so the slope and the Y intercept back into the equation. Okay, and that's our final answer. Y equals negative 4x plus 7. Okay, again, if you don't need to do step 1 or step 2, and you can jump right to step 3, that's okay. But I still want you to finish 3 through 5. Okay, that's good work shown. It's hard to do that in your head. Okay, I don't want people mixing up their X and their Ys. Okay, so I need to see that step three. It's really, really important. Okay, now, if you're still having questions, make sure you're asking, maybe ask a neighbor, okay, or raise your hand. Make sure you have all these notes written so your note sheet should be completely filled up at this point. Okay, if you need to go back and re-watch the video, that's okay. I want you to get all these notes, so everything I wrote should be on your piece of paper.